So if we take a white sheet of paper and hold it up under his chin, you guys see that? Look at that. It looks like he's got, it looks like he's got like three little hairs hanging off his chin. Oh, darling, did you see your little man over there? Sure did, Bob. Did you see his chin? I did. What's it look like happening over there? Some little chin hairs popping out. Little chin hairs, darling. When you have a clear cup, it's as bad as in the movies when they just pretend to drink the whole time. It, there's some stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think your little guy hit a manhood already and he's got chin hairs? Hey, I got hairs on my chin. And, uh... He's getting big muscles. I saw him lifting some carp, Mom. His muscles were huge. Is he all grown up already? Or did some, something else happen? <laughs> I think uh, something else happened. Oh, yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at that chin first. Bug, I'm going to take a peek at you. And hey... Darling, this is going to be people's first time actually seeing on video what we've been up to. You still live in a construction zone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got all sorts of construction going on here. But, sneak preview, yeah. That's all just discarded free sources I got paid to take down. But we repurposed them. I and you helped with that too, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. So let's see. Look at me first straight on. See that, guys? He's got little... Where'd that white sheet go? White sheet? Can you hand me that white sheet, my lady? <clears throat> so if we take a white sheet of paper and hold it up under his chin... You guys see that? Look at that! It looks like he's got... It looks like he's got like three little hairs hanging off his chin. Bug, why do you have little hairs on your chin? I got smashed too. He had to get... Um, stitches. Smashed and had to get stitches, that's right. So I was actually on a drive. I had that limited time offer video I put up a bit ago and uh, had one day left available to go get free sources. So I ran out because I wanted some more wood for when I get to my outdoor kitchen build and uh, I was on my way to that. And all of a sudden I got a call from Mama saying this guy cut his chin open and needed stitches and I said well send me a picture first so she sent me a picture two of them actually and I'm like yeah <laughs> yeah we need stitches here so I didn't want her to have to you know with homeschooling the children and mama working from home being the despot of the oikos the mm -hmm. one who kind of rules this runs over this place takes care of it um I didn't want her to have to find someone to watch the children and then have to run in for stitches, and then not knowing how long that was going to take, have to find something to do with the babu. So I said, all right, I'm turning around. And, I mean, they'll do stitches, but normally they like to within the first three hours. So I found out about right away, and I was over an hour away, so I heading where I was going. So I turned around, came back, picked this guy up, and then we decided to, uh, rather than go to the emergency room, which often costs more, and often takes a lot longer, we, uh, had a family practitioner that we were able to go to, and uh, not too bad. Um, this guy came in, and he just kind of, he didn't say nothing really on the way. He just kind of held a paper towel over his chin and just wrote nice and quietly and peacefully. And what happened after that? We got to the thing. You were actually a new patient there. You hadn't been there yet. Um, so we got in, and, uh, you know, the lady... Just had this guy lay still, asked him to close his eyes so uh, she could numb it. And the children periodically have a game that they play, for some reason it's called Dead Donkey. And, uh, and they'll just lay as still as they possibly they could, as if they were a donkey that was dead. And this guy masters it. He'll like lay back, fold his arms across his chest, cross his feet, and just lay there on the floor, just not moving forever. He's amazing at it. And that's exactly what he did in the chair there. So the lady numbed it up. Gave him three little stitches. He's like, oh, you'll have a little string hanging from your chin. 
And we're like, oh yeah, we know about that, right? Because <laughs> Papa's got a string hanging from his chin. Um, but then she got him in. And uh, we could take him in to get them removed. Or um, we could do them ourselves um, because it's not that difficult. So we're going to do them ourselves, right? Yeah. And it's a good time. So one thing I try to teach the children is to interact with each other. If a little child has something that they're not supposed to have, don't just walk up and tear it from them. Or don't just walk up and say no and you know take it from them. But talk. Ask them to give it to you. Um, you know, I told them wild animals can tear things from one another. Wild animals can slam into one another. We're ones who have an ability to talk and communicate. So rather than forcing, let's have conversations. Let's explain what we're doing and why. Give even a little one who's touching something they shouldn't. Give them an opportunity to respond on their own. Somebody waking up and getting hungry? Or... Um, and it was happening that somebody was trying to pull this guy one way and he was trying to go the other way. And when you broke free, what happened? I smacked all my chin on the floor. So he just right on the floor so hard that it cut it open. It was actually one of the biggest chin wounds I've seen. I had one before that I could have had stitches for. Mm. It wasn't that I should have. I mean, his was definitely a should have. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take some stitches out. First stitches ever on the homestead. I had stitches before on my thumb. Did you ever have any? No. Maybe a stitch here so. or there? And they never even had one after birth or anything? After? Mm -mm. No. Maybe after Zipporah I did have one or two. Maybe one. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Something like that, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Since then, no. But nothing from, yeah, life. So anyway, first stitches on the homestead. Now we're going to carefully take them out. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. It'll be like shaving for you. You'll get rid of those chin hairs. <laughs> You're good, buddy. Okay. I've cut that one. So now watch. There you go, bug. Okay, hold it in your hand. Hmm, that whole thing is ready to go. I see. Okay. You got it? And then there's another piece right here. Well, I'm going to have him do the middle one himself. There we go. Okay, I didn't In the do mirror. the middle one. Right. You want to pull one out yourself? No? Okay. I'll let Pinky do it then. Gently. Grab the end with your tweezers. Okay. Now, looks pretty good. You want to go see it with no hair? You look freshly shaven. And Pinky, now you got a little experience with that. Hopefully you're never in a situation where you need to be stitching people up or taking out stitches, but if you are, now you can. What do you think, Bug? They're out. They're out, huh? Alright, hopefully we learned some lessons today and when you got them. Don't force people, talk to them, right? And be careful. Can you lift your chin up once for me? Oh yeah, that's much better than it would have been. And one day, even if there's a scar, you can put your chin down. One day, even if there's a scar, you can grow a beard. And then no one will know. What's going on outside? It's snowing. Do you want to open the bathroom window and show me? Yeah. Whoa. You 
right about that. Cold and snowing. Does that mean we get to have winter adventures? Yeah. You remember catching minnows in the winter? Yeah. And eating them? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, buddy. Well, y'all, we wanted to uh, take his stitches out anyway. Figured might as well record that. Um, we've done some before on animals, um, and I was working with my girls to do that and to remove. Um, but you know, you can take them out yourself even if you can't do them in a situation like this. So, Pinky took two of them out. I did one. And I just wanted to put something out for you guys. I uh, got some stuff coming up with this remodel. You're excited about it, right? How does mm -hmm. it look? It looks amazing and how, beautiful. How does it make you feel? It definitely gives me a different feel, like a creative feel to the room. Just It's less institutional, good. not just white walls. That helps. But all right, guys, we'll see you soon enough. I'll try to put out videos on a little more consistent basis. Can you tell everyone bye-bye? Bye. Pop out. I'm out. Sit the out. Sit down.